Right, here we go. Just gonna have a quick peep. All dog leads here. Yeah, I didn't bump in over here much um, in the paddock. Yeah, I don't seem to come in here so much in the winter. And the weather's changing again. It was really warm a minute ago. And it's all a bit nippy now. Look at that. Mm. Just a little bit. I'm just planning an alternative route that Oh, can I see somebody? Is that an arm I see? See something sticking out. I don't, oh yeah, it's a person. It is a person. That unfortunate. I normally get the place to myself. We'll manage. Stay in there, I think. Could be. Let's just have a look here. Like you usually do. It's a beautiful priory that I talk about a lot. Don't know if it's open. I've seen two people. I don't know whether they're guests. They might just be walking round. They might just be walking around. Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely um, place to. Jimmy's away. Wait, turn off a minute. Good to have an update. Don't forget, I recorded this a long time ago. They first done it like 2009 or something like that. I did it. Even got pictures of all what I'm doing now. I've got loads of pictures of. Oh yeah, yeah. Might be open. I never know. You're standing at the edge of a former monastic night site known as Woodspring or Worth Spring Priory. In the 12th century, the manor of Woodspring was owned by Reginald Fitzgerald, one of the murderers of Archbishop Thomas Beckett inside Canterbury Cathedral in 1170. In remorse, he built a chapel here dedicated to St. Thomas the Martyr. Yeah, of course, when the dissolution of the monasteries come in Henry VIII's time, lots of it was demolished and hacked away.
in the big barns, the infir infirmarium. <sighs> mm. Yeah, like I say, I saw two people, so it might be open. Something come this way. It doesn't mean it's open though. Wasn't it now? I've been all in it. I haven't been in the tower. That's the only place I haven't been in. I think there's people might have gone. I'm just actually, it's not open. Those people must be guests. They came this way, so, unless they were ghosts. <laughs> I'd probably say, what could be, 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 be people from the, um, cottage? Hmm. A car there. Wait, move back a bit, shall? All oh, the thistles are out. This is the orchard. There's a little stone marking something there, and there used to be a bench on that hump there. But of course, this was all part of the prior. It was a lot bigger, don't forget. A monastic site. I never did find out what they did when they had the geophys people out here. I never really did find that out. Like I say, it could have been ghosts. Two, I saw two people, one with very white hair, a minute ago. Yeah, there's the cottage. Of course, I've been all... And they used to, it did used to have a big window in the middle of there. around the edge and then we'll see where we think we might get out. By that tree. Really? Yeah. Right, turn off. Right, well I didn't really video the orchard bit much, but I took lots of nice photographs of the priory. Here's the field. There's a gate over there, which I can go to. There's a track up here. Or, because I know the cows are aiming for this area, I might be able to pass the Priory Infirmary area and cut across a different field and get out that way. Well, it's not really a, a common route that I take, but I will make, I do do diversions. I will do diversions. And that diversion 
Good start, yeah. Well, I can get some different views of the Priory. See, like this one here. That's a lovely view, isn't it? That I'd never done before. Never done that one before. I'm actually above the so I can see the cows, look. The cows are up there. See, look. Above the sheep, the cows are. And they're going, they're moving in the direction they're facing, which means they're moving away from where I need to go. And there's a lot of them. Now, if they're going that way, and they can't, and they're gated, that means they can't go to the. They can't go to the place where I'm going. I can sneak out from the gate up here and go across another field. It's not a common route I take. I only do it if it's necessary. I only do it if it's necessary. I don't know if the farmer works today, so he might not be out. Any luck. But I've, I think I've been across the long here a couple of times. Uh, it's at the back of the barn, we're past. Um, like I said, there's a big herd of cows and they're moving that way. They're moving that way, which means with any luck, I can go straight across. There's a field there, just go straight across and void them completely. There's another really good picture of the Priory. I don't even know if I've ever taken it one like this before from here. Yeah, like I said, I don't want to risk because normally I'd be walking either right across the other side of there and it looks like they're dipping down that way. So I'm just making. I'm just making very that big stone there. Yeah. That's interesting, isn't it? Look what that is, that looks very old. It looks very monastic actually. Oh that sheep's looking a bit sleepy. They could be about to give birth, this lot. They could all be pregnant sheeps. Are you dead? Oh no. Hello? Are you sleepy? They might all be getting... This might be all the pregnant ones in here, see? I can't see any lambs. Oh, I felt like there might be rain then. Now what we intend to do, because I think that's get their gated off the cows. There's a gate down there. I don't reckon they don't normally have them on everywhere. So what I reckon is I can go go for a gate here and just go straight across and get out the other side of that gate. I do like to make diversions. Do you? Yeah. And I see different views. There's the back of the shed there. Used to have an old bath on legs in there. Yeah, those cows were up there a minute ago. They've dipped down, and I reckon they'll be going down, if you like, to the old MOD area. So, yeah, yeah. Be 
going across the barn in a minute as well. There's another big old stone, look. Looks very monastic, doesn't it? Even looks like a type of marker stone. Wall repaired here. And of course there's the warden's cottage. It used to be a warden's cottage. I was asked once if I was interested in it. But I thought, no, too far out. <sighs> you know, I like to, I like what I like. I, I am rural and towny. Um, I like being able to go up Jessica and get me bread, milk, and have a chat. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't taken pictures of this side for a long, long time. Now down below, beyond, beyond here, this bit here, there's an old well. You can't see it. It's quite a dangerous area here. There's a well that goes down with steps. I have seen them when it's been cleared before now. But it should really have a sign up. I just don't want to bump into the farmer right now. If I can help it. Yeah, I've been in there as well. Have you? Yeah. Before now I have. Turn that off, Shell, because you'll use more power. This is the long barn. Could have been a hospital in the past. They've got a special name, this sort of barn. I can't remember what you call it now. Though. But it is old. It has had the roof repaired several times, and I've been in there. I've been through here for nips open. Now we just got a crossover. Just gonna turn off for a second.